everybody. Welcome back to another Beer Cheers RC Crawlers video. Uh, hopefully it's not too windy um, for the audio. I'll try my best. As you see we have a storm rolling in. Um, today is the 50th subs 50 subscriber special. And actually we have 62. Thank you very much for everyone that's subscribed and takes the time to watch my videos. I appreciate it. And for the 50 subscriber special, I wanted to build something unique. So here it is. This is the Tamiya GT, oh sorry, G601TR, the Dynahead 6x6. Came out early 2020. It's an 18th scale. Uh, MSRP on it's $376. I paid $263, I believe. Um, there's three similar models. However, this one is unique compared to the other three. Uh, they have the Kong Head, which is a semi truck. Uh, they also have the King Yellow, which is a school bus. And they have a 124th scale Volvo A60Y rock hauler. Same chassis different body. This one, however, is different because it has portal axles. Really a nice rig, actually. Um, doesn't come with this body. This body you may recognize um, from an earlier video. That's the Fei E um, FY03A body, I believe. So this comes as a kit that you have to build. Um, probably about a 3 on the difficulty level, 1 to 10. You do need to get a radio set up, um, steering servo. This has four-wheel steering capability, so you might want to get two servos. I would also recommend getting a hardened servo arm and the hardened steering assembly that's inside here. Um, makes a huge difference on the performance. Um, and then paint for the body if you want to use the stock body, but I'm, I'm using the hard body that I, I got off the other truck. So as you can see, no body posts, real nice and clean. Got a, some accessories, some rope winches. This is my recovery vehicle. So let me get the underside here. I'm running a Google RC 55 turn 540 brushed setup, the Hobby Wing. Uh, 1060 BL or brushed I don't know which one it is exactly I'm um, a Savix Metal Gear Servo there's that steering assembly again much better it's a hot racing I believe um, the other thing I would highly recommend when you're building this thing is uh, to get a bearing kit for it because it comes with nothing but plastic and bronze bushings and the way the gears mesh if uh, the bushings failed it would pretty much mess up all the all the gears there's 58 total bearings I would recommend it I did it it was worth it uh, so the portal axles provide 15 mil more clearance uh, comes with two different pinion options and 18 uh, tooth is what I have in there you can also uh, use a 20 uh, friction dampeners not that bad you now they work sorry it's cold and windy man Oof. Um, so, what did I do with the drivetrain for the Fei-E, as I mounted it on a, six, or a 60's Tonka truck, steel body, seems to fit just perfect. Um, so if you guys want a running video on this thing, I'll, I'll make one of those too. But, just wanted to share what I've been working on, I also have some more videos coming out. I have probably five more trucks right now I want to show you guys, but uh, I'll show you some running footage and then we'll talk about how it performs. Uh, these tires are just a little shy of four and a quarter, so they're not quite a 2.2 and they're similar to a 1.9, so if you wanted to upgrade I'd go with a 1.9 and uh, it would make it a lot better. Uh, the other thing I would recommend when you're building this, put as much putty in the differentials as you can to try to lock them up as much as possible. So I'll show you how to how I got my body mounted here. It's under here. There's a couple of arms. Let's get this. Oh, okay, hold on. So there's the truck. 
There's my mounting posts for the front, and then there's the back. There's your battery tray, ESC, receiver. Pretty, pretty straightforward. It was a really fun kit to build. Steel axles, steel ball cups. Um, here again, I have it set up for the four-wheel steering in the back. However, I don't have a servo for it right now, but it's a great option.